You're watching WWTI News Watch 50, Clear Channel Television for New York. Straight ahead on the Night Watch, joyful faces abound on post at Fort Drum tonight. Plus, we'll take you to Lewis County Court where a verdict has been reached in the case of Kathleen Denis. And find out how to save big bucks in part three of our series, Easy Money. Stay tuned, the Night Watch starts now. This is News Watch 50, 11 at 11. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shelley Rabando. Welcome to the Night Watch. We begin tonight with a homecoming. After spending six months in the Persian Gulf, Fort Drum troops returned home to the North Country. Friends, family, and military personnel were on hand to welcome them back at a reception. And Newswatch 50's Jamie Say was there. How did it go, Jamie? Well, Shelley, after a few delays, wives, kids, and friends finally greeted the returning troops. This group of soldiers was scheduled to return on Tuesday. Tonight on Newswatch 50 at 6, the human toll of the global war on terrorism touches home again in the North Country. Also, a biker dies a lonely death on a Jefferson County road. And like a phoenix, two local businesses rise from the ashes. This is News Watch 50 at 6. Another North Country casualty in the war on terrorism. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Moore. And I'm Andrea Pedrick. Welcome to News Watch 50 at 6. Well, the almost daily attacks on U.S. soldiers in Iraq continue. Tonight, it's a St. Lawrence County man who's one of the victims. His friends and family called him Travis, but to the Army, he was Sergeant David Travis Frederick. The 29th sports, he'll talk with Red and Black head coach George Ashcraft. And when we come back, you're never too young to lead the cheer. Stay tuned for more coverage you can count on. You're watching News Watch 50 at 6 with John Moore, Andrea Pedrick, Jay Donovan with Storm Team Weather, and Jamie Say Sports. This portion of the news brought to you by your local Hyundai dealers. Local news now from WWTI News Watch 50. I'm Sean Moore. Thanks for logging on to NewsWatch50.com. In North Country News, the estimate is in on a new Lewis County courthouse. And the figures for the Stowe Street site show it $5.6 million more expensive than the previous plan of expanding the current courthouse in downtown Lowville. WWTI ABC 50 also offers weekday regional news, weather, and sports produced in HD from our sister station, WSYR in Syracuse. The North Country is everything to me. Will's in that wallet. Mm -hmm. It's now 5 o'clock. Happening now. An outpouring of support for a nonprofit that lost pretty much everything. The community now rallying around Purpose Farms. A progressive plan for a police reform in the city of Ithaca. More on what exactly the mayor is proposing and what the outgoing chief has to say. And Rochester police under the spotlight again as a grand jury clears all seven officers in the death of Daniel Prude. Protests followed on. We'll have the latest at 5 o'clock. From WSYR-TV Syracuse, the local station, you're watching the morning news. Good morning, I'm Dan Cummings. It is 5 o'clock. We'll go to Rochester in a moment for the news. And good morning, I'm Nicole Simavilla. On this Wednesday morning, what are we waking up to, Lindsay? Quiet weather, temperatures though, not too chilly. You notice that you uh, get out the door for work and you mm. don't have to have that super heavy jacket. Uh, we'll have temperatures this afternoon in the low 40s. Live Doppler 9 is quiet, so nothing to slow you down for this morning. But you look off to the west and we do have a system not too far away. That'll bring us some rain showers, mainly after 2 or 3 o'clock and you see those temperatures going right on up to the mid 40s. We'll take a look at your uh, tomorrow's forecast coming up in just a few minutes. We do start in Rochester where protesters filled the streets last night marching on Jefferson Avenue in the city at the same location where Daniel Prude had his deadly encounter with several Rochester police officers last March. These protesters marched from West Main Street onto I-490 before gathering at the public safety building and it is all in response. With sodium. They have less sodium broth you can cook with too. Consumer Reports shows us how to make minestrone soup with the right balance of flavors to serve up every time. 
You're watching the morning news with Dan Cummings, Nicole Somavilla, and Storm Team meteorologist Kate Thornton with Central New York's most accurate forecast. News Channel 9, the local station. Happening now. A nationwide outrage continues. Protests, some of them violent, continue to erupt in the streets across America. The latest on efforts to contain the unrest. Plus, holding those accountable for police misconduct, Governor Cuomo lays out a plan for police reform. And more central New Yorkers take to the streets in peaceful protest in efforts to end racism in America. From WSYR-TV Syracuse, the local station, you're watching the morning news. And good morning at 6 o'clock. I'm Dan Cummings. Good to see you. Second day of June. And Kate Thornton, we've got another decent day working, mm -hmm. huh? Not too shabby. A little bit of rain around this morning, and then we'll kind of end our day with a little bit of rain. But the middle part, the meat potatoes of the day, everything actually looks pretty nice. Temperatures, we are starting off much milder this morning, thanks to the extra cloud cover. And also, we're tracking a little bit of rain. We've had some sprinkles, some light showers in Oswego County. Some From WSYR-TV, this is News Channel 9. Stocks rebounded on Wall Street today as the tech sector cut its losses from yesterday. The Dow climbing 389 points, the Nasdaq gained 71, and the S&P 500 rose more than 32 points today. Good evening, I'm Chrissy Casciano. And I'm Rod Wood, and we continue to follow breaking news tonight out of California's Bay Area, where at least four people have been hospitalized after a shooting at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno. Here is what we know at this hour. ABC News reporting the shooter was a Busted, a North Country drug sting that stealers, heroin, cocaine, the suspects connected to a violent gang still operating during the pandemic. Plus, hearts for our nurses. Other W. County Sheriff's deputies paying tribute to our frontline health care heroes of COVID-19. But first, stopping the spread. Madison County warning there could be another spike in cases. Why they think it will happen. I'm Christy Casciano. 11 nonstop minutes of news, weather, and sports start now. From WSYR-TV Syracuse. Now, 11 nonstop minutes of news. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, Madison County is taking steps to stop the spread of COVID-19. It comes after neighbors may have been exposed to the virus at several popular stores throughout the county. WWTI News Watch 50 with Andrea Pedrick. 